Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today guys, we are playing the Warhammer 2C and a very classic laser vomit build. And yeah, I wanted to play this build for a while, but I didn't dare because I think it's too straightforward maybe. But here it is now, let's take a look. We take two heavy large lasers, we take five ER medium lasers, an AMS, one ton of AMS ammo, XL engine 350 and the rest is just... It sings! Yeah, that's what we do, guys. Uh, this is, a, again, very straightforward. You can shoot all the lasers at the same time. You have a very nice range sync on the heavy larges, which are um, 450 meters in optimal range, plus 45 from the skills. And then the ER mediums with 400, plus 40 from the skills. That means it's a nice mid-range fighter. It is not really a DPS build, so pick your targets carefully and try to focus down on a single component. This is a mech that really wants to unload all the damage on a single component in order to deal that sweet 64.5 damage to, uh, yeah, as I was saying, single target, a single uh, area on the mech and then pop it down. Um, if you splash the damage against the moving target, it's not that effective, but, um, you know, just try to take your time, try to find a position where you are not contested and you can take your time to aim carefully. Also, when a target is not moving and steady, it's obviously the better target. Now let's take a look at the skills. We have invested into the firepower tree, as you can see. The laser duration nodes are crucial in this one. The heavy larges have such a long burn time that you really need to make sure that you get that down a little bit. Also, heat management is a second concern that you have. Heat gen and uh, basically a little bit of cooldown is what you get on the firepower tree. We also go for survivability, but not maxing it out yet or at all, because uh, those were just the points that we are left over after our first priorities, which are, again, laser duration and heat management. Speaking about heat management, let's go over here. This is crucial. We wanted cool run and uh, cool run and then cool run again and then a little bit of heat containment on top of that. You can actually go for this as well if you like and then just drop either the cooldown skills here as one optional down here. And that's basically it. Uh, and then just that, more or less. Okay, so that would kind of... Uh, actually, we could have gone for AMS Overload, I just realized. So that would be a way to play the mech maybe a little bit more efficient. Anyhow, after that, double cool shot. Again, biggest concern being the heat management and therefore having that cool shot ready when you really need to pump out a little bit more damage is nice to have. And uh, we have a UAV to see what's going on around us. And that's basically the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the HPG Manifold. We are playing Assault. And I'm really happy that I can try this build that I wanted to try a long, long time. And I didn't dare because I think it's too much uh, cookie cutter. But let's see if it really is. We have the uh, six, no, sorry, five medium lasers and uh, two heavy larges. And I want to get into a spot where I am not really the one on the front line because um, I will stare down the enemy and um, I, if I really want to bring my laser burn completely to the point then I have to focus that means I will expose myself a lot um, and that means that I will get most likely uh, a lot of return fire so let's find ourselves a spot where I still contribute to the fight with my armor with my firepower but I'm not getting cored out because somebody sees oh yeah look at that there's a guy Basically not moving his torso because he's so focused on his target and I want to kill him now. Uh, what I also want to do is, you know, you know me, right? Upfront early damage. Yeah, and that's a bit... Hey, I have AMS, I'm happy. I can also dodge that. No problem. Didn't get any return fire. There's an Atlas in uh, Delta 5. There's also a guy in the basement. Hey, crazy. Crazy people with crazy ideas here. This dire wolf is also almost Target down. Destroyed. And this is exactly what we are doing here. Target this is my, my battle plan so far. So, we're gonna go ahead, try to hit them, try to focus on them, cool down afterwards, and then rinse and repeat. All right, our team is there, it's great. Oh, that was awkward. I was making a ditch here? Interesting. Um, are we going for the Atlas? Guys, Delta 4 is hot. Delta 4, please. Oh, you hear the hissing sound when I'm getting over 70%? Oh, so good. Means that I'm doing something right. Also, I'm getting shot in the back by, I think, a friendly PPC. That's not that nice. So, we help out here against the uh, Atlas. Again, a shot. The Atlas down. I don't know, somebody is. So, 
We're gonna go ahead and try to find... He's in the basement. I thought he was there. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna try to find ourselves a team. Uh, a team? An enemy. Mad Cat is caught, by the way. Oh, also, too much. See? This is the problem. Getting focused is not really nice. Guys, we gave up our high ground. I don't know why, but let's take it again. It was really good. It was a guy. Where's the guy? I don't know. Now, let's... Yeah. The moment... The moment I'm turning around, I'm like, okay, yeah, there he is. There he is. Mm -hmm. Heat sink destroyed. Problem of the mech uh, in general is that it's rather sluggish in his movement. So you really have to stay in one spot and defend that. This is not really an agile mech that really wants to go around and uh, hunt down enemies or adjust to their movement. Not really. Not really. Can we make a push against them? Is that possible? Also shoot the arms, no problem. Ah, uh, this mad cat. Foxtrot is caught, guys. Foxtrot the mad cat. Can we kill him, please? Let's go. Ah, uh, people are moving into each other. Yeah, everybody is super scared. Everybody wants to stand behind somebody. Which is, uh, a little bit awkward. Alright, we're gonna go for him. I'm gonna take his mech, and his life, and his money, and his children, and... Uh, I don't know. No, let's, let's, let's keep the children out of that. I mean, when it comes down to children, I mean... We don't do that. I mean, it's just virtual children, right? I mean, we are just talking shit. Alright, let's go. Mmm, Incubus. Awesome. Oh, awesome. Nice big target. Rather easy to focus on. Awesome. Awesome. Down he goes. Where are the rest of the enemies? The good thing is that we got our top back. Our top. The top. I mean, the top belongs to us. That means we can maybe call it our top. Uh-huh. Good, that's a kill. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to overheat. Shadowhawk is one of the last guys. Alright. In general, it was pretty focused... Oh, come on. Pretty focused damage-wise. But yet again, I, I was getting hit by so many weird situations. Or in so many weird situations. Yeah, and now I'm missing a laser. And this guy is gonna shred me, by the way. Enemies in Echo 4. Let's kill him. So I should probably go for the guy, yeah, obviously that is damaged. Mm -hmm. One more shot, nice one. And the last one is the Sun Spider with the ATMs, yeah. Wow, three ATM-12s, that's uh, risky. You have nothing else? All right. And yet again, when you are locked on on somebody, when you decide to go for a shot, try to make your aim as steady as possible, so that you deal as much damage as possible. That was good. I mean, damage much as much damage as possible to the same component. That's super, 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 duper important. If you splash your lasers all over the place, then, um, you know, you don't get that much done. Only over time. Anyhow, we got one killing blow, 10 assists, one kill most damage dealt, about 700 damage, and six components destroyed. That was the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing Ribolite Oasis. We are playing Assault. I want to go to the Fox 6 area. I want to shoot into Echo 6 because I believe the enemies will be there at some point. So let's see if that's true or if they are going up to the Echo 5 area and push hard into that direction. Uh, again, early upfront damage, a little bit of uh, an alpha strike, a little bit, I mean a lot of damage. And uh, then we're gonna pull back and see where the tides of battle are going. I really like to get that early advantage out. I, it's just a thing. When the enemies are not yet aware of your positioning, you can always, or let's say most of the time, get a nice shot out before the enemies are reacting to it. I believe they're gonna be uh, here. Are they? Yep. Just like that. Yeah, I got a laser scrape, but I dealt my full laser burn to this cataphract. This is what I'm talking about. Enemies Delta 6 low ground. Lots of them. Can we do it again? Let me see. I gotta be a bit more careful here. We can! And that is the essence of early damage, guys. That's just it. Uh, they're moving to Delta 5. Some of them, not all of them. I can do that for days. Actually, they're here. What? Alright, alright, alright. Thunderbolt's still there? Yes, he was. Yeah, he's pulling back now. Okay, let's go. See, this was not a good trade. That was definitely bad. But it didn't matter that much, really. Uh, where to go now? Oh, please don't hunt him. Shoot him? That's fine, but don't hunt him. Piranha got some nice laser... Wow, teleported. 
Mm, and that was bad. Okay. Uh, guys, watch Echo 6. Don't hunt the piranha, please. Watch it. Go for the big guys. Mad Cat Mark 2, bravo. Kill him. It's one or two shot. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, here's the linebacker coming in now. I think I couldn't shoot my... Ooh, okay, I couldn't shoot my arm mounts. I think they were too low. Too low slung to get that damage out. Mad Cat is gonna kill me. What about you? Are you gonna kill me? Problem here is moving target. Moving target means... Um... Splashing damage, and that means we are not being that efficient, not as efficient as we could be. Alright, I want to engage yet again. Uh, I also want to stay here in the ECM area of the Blood Asp, that's very helpful. So let's see if we can find an angle. I'm late for that lately. Uh, lately? Sadly. Uh, enemies will probably come to Delta 6 low ground. Just watch it. Good. Again, staying, trying to stay focused here. That was good. Yeah, that override was not really an override. We didn't take any internal damage. Uh, I want to help out here, honestly. Yeah. So that's the side torso of the guy. Stay focused, guys. Let's go to Delta 6. Uh, hotel is coming around the corner. Let's go for the Marauder. Thank you. Good shot. Ah, oh, we couldn't take him. That cataphract. Alright, I'm going for the cataphract. Nice, now go for the mad cat. I need to pull back, I can't, I'm, I'm blocked. I think the only way out is forward! Onwards! Okay, heat level critical again. It's 8 and 5. Behind us. Is he gonna peek again? That misslings. I think he's wa he probably wants to get an angle on us. Yeah, the problem is he's easily able to dodge most of the laser burns, and that means uh, that, that we're gonna be inefficient. Uh, I'm defending this here in uh, Echo 6? Actually, no, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. I should just push forward and regroup here when we are coming over to this area. So, Thunderbolt, another laser burn. Wait, this guy is just staying here. This guy is just dying there, and now the enemies are behind us. High ground? Seems like it, yeah. He's still on the high ground. So we have an Uziel and the Mistlings. Those are the last two guys. Uh, still staying on the high ground. And it might be that they are getting pushed down. Because anyway, they're getting literally pushed by my people. Alright, let's go. Nice twist there. A little bit longer and we would have died. But we can still fix that. Almost. Almost. Uh, the Mistlings is a one shot. Just kill him. Um, yeah, Echo 5. Down he goes. Nice and focused. I love it. Pretty good work, team. Very, very well done. Cool. Let's have a look at the end score here. Uh, as you can see, in a hot situation like that, you just really need to take your time. Really need to think about what you want to do, where you want to do it, when you want to do it, and then reposition to cool down and uh, then get the damage going again. We got one killing blow, 10 assists, 3 kill most damage dealt, 890 damage, and I think 5 components? Give me a second. Oh, two components. Okay. And that's the daily dose of today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you guys on the battlefield. Goodbye.